In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix email not working after a DNS change in Hostinger. Encountering email issues after updating DNS can be frustrating, but don't worry, we're going to tackle this step by step to get your email back on track. So let's dive right in and solve this together. First, confirm that your hosting or email hosting plan is active. To do this, open Hostinger's HPanel and ensure your domain is registered, activated and not suspended. This step is crucial because any inactive plans or suspended domains can directly affect email functionality. Once you've verified that everything is active, the next step is to check your MX records. These records are essential for routing your emails. In your H panel, go to the domain section and click manage next to your domain. Then look to the left hand sidebar and open DNS slash name servers. Here under manage DNS records, select MX as the type. You'll need to enter the mail servers with the correct priority. For example, mx1.hostinger.com at priority 5 and mx2.hostinger.com at priority 10. If there are old or conflicting MX records, don't forget to delete them before saving your changes. Allow up to 24 hours for DNS propagation after making these updates, as email functionality may be intermittent during this time. Moving forward, it's time to add essential email authentication DNS records like SPF and DKIM. These records help in improving email deliverability and avoiding authentication issues. Although they're not mandatory for receiving emails, they ensure your emails don't end up in the spam folder. If Hostinger's name servers aren't automatically adding SPF, you can manually add it at your DNS provider. To ensure your email services are enabled, head to the emails section in your H panel. Click manage next to your domain and scroll to manage email accounts. Here, look for the ellipsis. Next to the email account, select settings and make sure the suspend receiving option is disabled. After confirming this, click update to apply the changes. Finally, verify that the specific email address you intend to use is correctly set up. If you haven't done this yet, go back to the email section and create the necessary mailbox. Patience is key here, as DNS changes can take up to 24 hours to propagate completely. During this period, you might experience some delays or intermittent issues with sending or receiving emails. If you're still facing issues, consider checking Hostinger's delivery logs to track outgoing emails or access the mailbox via webmail to determine if the problem is with the DNS or your email client. And there you have it, a complete run through on fixing email problems after a DNS update in Hostinger. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like this video, drop a comment below with any questions and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. Thanks for watching.